Hey, what's up guys? Duct here, and today we're back with another video here on Hypixel Skyblock. Now, today I want to discuss whether I think people that have either in the past quit or been taking a break from Skyblock, whether now is a good time to return. It's a complicated question. I'm going to go over a lot of the updates that have happened between now and when I personally took a major break from Skyblock, and I'm going to say my opinion of whether I think now is a good time to come back. To start it off, Skyblock has definitely been on a better path in the last six months, having released a lot more updates, even though they may be smaller, they're just more frequent, so the game just feels a lot fresher because there's a lot less gaps between updates. As in the past like year, there were gaps of up to 60 days between each update, and sometimes that update after 60 days wasn't even that well received uh, like it was a relatively smaller update probably because they were preparing for dungeons but still it it really let the player base down as they were expecting oh well it's been 60 days so there's hopefully going to be a big update not really uh, so now they've done a pretty good job of that and they've added some things that I really like personally now I may be a bit biased here just 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 a bit biased as I am someone that really enjoys farming. And one of the main updates for me, at least personally, is the city project where they released the farm merchant's dwelling. Now, this addition of farm merchant's dwelling was a major addition because you could get stuff like this new Newton Nether Wards hoe, which allows me, along with the new enchant Turbo Wards 5, to get 25% extra drops from uh, nether warts, but I have to get a silver and nether warts contest. And basically these contests are things that happen every 20 minutes. Uh, so, well, they're 20 minutes long. So right now there's one going on for cactus, potato, and wheat. So basically you place in a certain higher percentage and you can get in bronze, silver, or gold for that event. Uh, and for example, this nether wart one, I'm definitely going to participate in because I want to get another silver medal. And on top of that, I get more Jacob's tickets so I can buy more stuff from the farmer's merchant. Or I can even sell the Jacob's tickets for money. Uh, basically, this new event I really, really like. On top of that, you can get tools for basically every type of farming, including sugarcane. For example, this hoe right here, which I'm borrowing from a guild member to show y'all, is a super OP sugarcane hoe. Uh, it's basically maxed, I believe, uh, with Turbo Cane 5. Basically, there's a Turbo Dash whatever for every drop, essentially. Uh, and then they've mined 36 million Shurikane with it, uh, which means with the logarithmic counter, you get plus 64% uh, Shurikane just from that. And then collection analysis, so basically the person that actually owns this hoe would get even higher than the plus 24% that I have. As well, on top of that, basically, there's been a lot of additions that really make farming actually viable now. Uh, and one of the main things is this mathematical hoe blueprint, which you can make into a wheat hoe, a carrot hoe, a potato hoe, a sugarcane hoe, or a netherwort hoe. But there's also some stuff, for example, cactus and cocoa bean. Uh, so don't worry, those do have stuff as well, If even though they're not in the hoe department. I'll show you all right now. If you go to the hub, uh, basically, you head to the right here to the farm merchant. Then you see there's Jacob here, uh, where you can claim your previous rewards, mostly Netherwart rewards for me uh, that I've been playing in, but sometimes I'll play other ones if Netherwart isn't showing up there. And then you can see the next scheduled contest when it's gonna come about and the different crops that are in the next contest. And if we head upstairs, we can see Anita. And here at Anita, you can buy uh, some really cool stuff. So the more things in nope, the nether wart pouch so you can automatically plant a whole real nether wart and you can also hold a bunch of nether wart in it which i do have a basket of seeds which basically does that for other items besides nether wart uh, a hoe great tilting so you can hoe a large area of farmland uh, the mathematical hoe blueprint which i talked about and then basically all the other ones for the stuff that you can't get from the mathematical hoe on top of that you can upgrade your farming level cap up to 60 but you have to get gold in all the collections uh, and you can get extra farming drops for the cost of a gold medal. You can get plus 2%. This has been a super cool addition, which I've really, really enjoyed. There's also been a couple other major additions. For example, the spooky event was revised to have some special spooky event mobs and some special spooky event fishing mobs, which are pretty cool. I haven't done that too much yet, but it has been added. And besides that, a super major change was the enchanting overhaul. So you can see Turbo Carrot 1, it tells me it will cost exactly 9 XP levels. Basically, they removed the existence of anvil uses. 
So combining stuff to enchant onto your eventual sword is no longer a problem where you're all worried about the anvil uses on your weapon, which was going to get even worse in the future as they kept adding more enchants. It's like, well, these enchant books are going to cost so much and so much more, even though they are still kind of expensive. If you look in the auction house, you can see there are some pretty expensive ones, particularly if you're adding a ton of enchants, it's going to cost you 367 XP levels, but it also requires a certain enchanting level. Uh, which was added as well. So I'm only enchanting 20, which means I can apply a lot of stuff, but I can't apply everything. Uh, if we go up, I can't apply like big brain enchantment, counter strike, uh, respite enchantment, combo, uh, prosecute. Basically, there's stuff that I cannot apply to my sword because I don't have enchanting 25 or even higher than that for some enchants as well. But they did add some new ways to level up your enchanting. Uh, for example, this new uh, experimentation table where you can do uh whatever this experiment is i'm not enchanting 25 yet but you can do basically chromatron where you repeat a musical pattern uh and super pairs where you basically find pairs and you can get a bunch of enchanting xp but it's like a daily thing uh which is still pretty good uh if you just log on and bother to do it uh there are some like mods to do it even better which i haven't tried but apparently that's somehow like really good if you do that as well Besides that, there were also a bunch of new dungeons stuff, a bunch of new dungeons items. Also, they've added a bunch of new dungeons floors, including all the way up to dungeons floor 7. Just quite hard, I haven't even done dungeons floor 7 yet. The main thing I've been focusing on since my return is mostly farming, because I'm a farm bot, you know? Um, <laughs> honestly, I just really enjoy the farming stuff. It's, uh, yeah, it's just me. I probably will get into the dungeon stuff once I actually have the money to be able to do so. Uh, if you check my bank right now, we're only at like 50 mil. So if I were to try and buy some of the better dungeon stuff, it probably would not go over that well. So I'm holding off on dungeons for now, but I'm definitely going to be trying to get into that soon. And honestly, the biggest reason why I think now is a pretty good time to return to Skyblock. If you A, either enjoy farming or if you really are hyped for this new mining update that's going to be coming early January 2021. We don't know exactly when it's going to be coming out, but they've said early January 2021 around December 17th. And they also gave quite a few hints as to what they're planning to add in this update and what they said, it really sounds super good. To start off, they've said that there's going to be a new material, Mithril and Titanium. So basically, some of you may already have seen the teaser we released some time ago, and we see many guesses as to what they were. I'm happy to reveal that those are Mithril Veins. Every block you see on the above screenshot can be mined to give different amounts of Mithril. The closer you get to the center, the more Mithril you get, but the harder it is to break through. The one white block you are seeing is a Titanium Ore. Mining Mithril will have a rare chance to spawn a Titanium Ore. Alongside this will be a new collection, the Mithril Collection, which Mithril Armor? Mithril Sword? Yes? Yes, please? That, like, yes. Uh, on top of that, basically when they add this type of thing, they can easily add other types of ores in the future if they really want to, which basically means there's an infinite expansion possibilities to Skyblock by adding this kind of thing into the game. On top of that, the Heart of the Mountain, so this is like a cool little tech tree you can get. Uh, the one thing they show is Pickabulous, or I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Throw your pickaxe to create an explosion on impact, mining all ores within a three block radius or the cost of one token of the mountain. I don't know how you're supposed to be able to get token of the mountains, they haven't really said, um, but I imagine it's from a rare drop from mining potentially, I'm not really sure. Okay, oh here it says, can be obtained by earning experience for your heart of the mountain, which will only be attainable by doing specific activities in the dwarven mines and future layers of the deep caverns. Okay, so they've already confirmed there's gonna be future layers of the deep caverns. And there's going to be the Dwarfen Mines, which I don't know if that's part of the Deep Caverns, a completely different spot. Based on this crazy screenshot they show here, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a completely new location. Or this is just the new Deep Caverns. I'm pretty sure this is a completely new location. They've said, uh, <laughs> we're very excited about this update. This may be one of the most impressive builds we've done for Skyblock so far. I'll give you guys one more picture to speculate about the Forge. So... I don't know if this is the f I imagine this is located at the Dwarfen Mines and yes yes is all I have to say I like I'm definitely going to be grinding this update really hard when it comes out I'll probably be streaming it as well uh, here on the channel or on Twitch or both uh, I'm 
yes that yes is all i have to say about this update uh now if y'all aren't as hyped about this update as me and you aren't hyped about the farming update and you don't like dungeons honestly skyblock is probably not for you at this point um if you aren't enjoying any of those three updates I, it's going to be really hard for me to recommend uh coming back to skyblock if you're not super hyped about any of those um, they have said it's going to be a while before they release more dungeon stuff, so most likely they're going to be focusing on, like, this, uh, new mine, and also potentially the alchemy thing, which they've been putting off forever, uh, and other updates as well. Anyways, as we jump back into the game, I'm super hyped for the release of the new mines and everything that's going to come with it. I haven't really tried dungeons that much. I will eventually probably get into it, but it's just kind of like something that I want to do at my own pace. I don't want to get carried in dungeons and be like, oh yeah, I've tried it, you know. Uh, I think it's only legitimately trying it if I'm able to complete it, not necessarily by myself, obviously, it's a team thing, but if I'm able to at least provide an average amount of support in the game, I don't think I'll have that much fun getting carried, essentially. I, I'm... I'm not the type of person that likes getting carried, and I don't think I would enjoy that very much. Anyways, I've gone over most of the stuff that's been added, but uh, as a last little show of what's been added, the Builder's Wand. Now, this is great. Uh, you have to buy it with bits, but Grand Architect is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, that's, it, It's just absolutely wonderful. I, like, I, I don't know what to say about it, but let's just say Grand Architect is great. Um, I, <laughs> it's actually just wonderful. Of course, I don't have enough to be able to show it right there. So let's take out a little bit of uh, soul sand right here. Basically how it works is you can automatically place a lot of blocks. So if I manually place, say right there, you can do it up to, what is it? Like 164 blocks automatically. So then what you do is you have your builder's wand, then you right click. And it, it just literally builds it like that. It is so nice. It's absolutely probably my either number one or number two most favorite thing that's been added to this game. Uh, in front of that, obviously, is potentially all the new hoes and axes and stuff they added, I think, are maybe up there with it. They're, they're up there, okay? I, I don't know. It, it's a competition. <laughs> But anyways, hope you all enjoyed today's video where I just speculated. If you all enjoyed this type of video, I can definitely do more. I just talk about what I've been doing here on Skyblock and what I'm planning to do and the future of what, I, <laughs> what I'm hoping to try and do and all the updates. Uh, I'm definitely down to do more videos like this one. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.